me, it was almost like winter didn't count. Summer was what mattered. My whole life was measured in summers. Like, I don't really begin living until June, until I'm at that beach, in that house. Good morning, world. Today is August 29th. It's the day after my birthday, and me and my family are on vacation in Turkey. Good morning world yet again. We're having breakfast right now. I'm having my second cup of tea obviously. Me and my sister are sitting out on the terrace and the terrace is so incredibly nice because one, this is the restaurant that's like 16 plus. So there's literally basically nobody because everyone is with their families and like with young kids. And it's just so nice being able to be in such a peaceful space where nobody's screaming and yelling. However, the terrace is overlooking the pool, so you get a bit of like ambience from there, so it's very nice. Drinking our tea, my sister's having some orange juice. I've not had orange juice in so long, I'll have orange juice today. But the plans are obviously like, as usual, we're gonna go to our morning gym class, we might play some darts later, and then we're gonna have like a Zumba class, gonna have a dip in the pool. We're not going to the sea today. I don't know why, but this time around, completely unable to go into the sea because there are so many stones around and we don't have the right shoes and we're too lazy to buy them and like, I don't know. I just don't feel like going to the beach right now. I don't know why, I love the beach and when we were back home, we'd go to the beach like almost every week. But here I just want to enjoy the pool and enjoy like the ambience and yeah. All right, world, so we're done with morning gym, sipping on my strawberry lemonade right now. I cannot believe it's our last two days on vacation because, I don't know, I mean, you went around the whole year to go on your summer vacation because I love summer the most. In spring, I was in Nisto and it was like incredible. The weather was nice. Me and my mom did like five days in the south of France. We did like Nice and Tanne and Monaco and it Italy. We also did Italy, believe it or not, and it was stunning, but nothing beats summer, summer vacation. And yeah, I mean, I'm just like, I don't want to leave. I'm gonna get a copyrighted. In either case, we're currently chilling by the pool. I'm reading my book. I'm reading a different book this time because I finished just for the summer, which is a bit sad because I love that book. It was a bit of a short book. It was like 300, 400 pages. Oh, I love the song too. I'm gonna get so copyrighted for this. But me and my sister were chilling at Pizzaseria. We were drinking some tea, which was very refreshing and nice. But we're back by the pool right now. I really want to go into the pool and just, you know, swim a bit and just continue enjoying the sun. It's our last two days here and I'm so sad. But enjoying the sun, getting a bit of more tan in before we have to go. And yeah. bittersweet that it's our like pre last evening over here because my favorite part of vacation is being out on the terrace and drinking tea and enjoying conversations especially like since I have not seen my sister in like five months and I'm not gonna see her for a long period of time actually that's a lie I'm literally gonna see her like a week later and then a month later so I'm lying but you can never have enough time with your um, sister <laughs> people are staring at me y'all anyways oh my god also they were playing tennis at like like inside the balcony the balcony that's inside the lobby bar live tennis was playing and sinner was playing with somebody i could not catch who the other player was but now they turn it off and it's football on and i'm so sad like there's us open right now which i am watching quite a few matches of us open obviously the timing is very difficult because like there's such a 
huge time zone difference. But you know, trying to catch on, catch up with it because I left the U.S. open. It's iconic, and yeah, that's that's the news, guys. Electric <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so here we are at the terrace. What's the name of the house? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Come to Dart, yeah. Come to Dart, yeah. Yarın ve çekeriz. Evet. Geçen sene Bizi çekmen lazım artık sürekli. Geçen sene çok çekiyor. Aa, geçen sene çok güzel bir video Evet. Geçen sene iyi. Geçen herhalde zayı hatırlıyorsunuz. Oh, Hala buradayım. Hala buradayım. Elektrikçi. Dur çek. Elektrikçi geldi. Çok kötüydü. Tek bir servis yaptım. Gerçek elektrikçi. Diyecek. Show's over and we're currently at the terrace. Terrace. I'm lying. We're living at the lobby bar, but they're playing tennis right now, which I'm so happy about. Alex Minor is playing right now, and I've actually seen him play live at the Bema Open, and it was amazing. And he actually won the Bema Open, I believe. And it's just so nice that they're showing it on TV, so I don't have to be with my like small screen because like for the past few days to watch US Open, I've just been opening it on my phone. And Sinead is also here. <laughs> So we're just sitting here, gonna watch tennis and enjoy our night. I cannot believe this is our last full day in Turkey. So today is actually August 31st, which is Victory Day here in Turkey because they defeated the occupying Greek army in the hands of Turks in the Battle of the Mulkanad back in 1922. And it's a huge celebration, which obviously makes sense. Victory Day is so important to every country and it's so important to respect each other's histories. And I'm excited for the day. Turks go all in for the holiday. And we've actually spent countless amount of Victory Days here in Turkey on vacations in previous years. So I'm very excited to read these moments. Kanalıma hoş geldiniz arkadaşlar. Sevgisayar bugün gidiyor. Çok üzgünüm. Keşke biraz daha kalsalar. Sevgi için sonra gidip Aylin'in önce gitmesi tuhaf. Neyse. Umarım seneye tekrar görüşürüz. Yeah, today is our last day. And I'm leaving tomorrow. No, I'm leaving tomorrow evening. My sister is leaving tomorrow morning. So. Görüşürüz. Kendinize iyi bakın. Seneye yine görüşürüz. Balloons, please put, put your balloons up. Balloon Mario Korea. You're gonna put the balloons up. Balloons, five balloons. Balloons are all on that. Hey, Peraber. Balloons are you Korea country. We're currently sitting at the snack bar, and as we're sitting in the snack bar, two 
sweetest, kindest girls approached us and let us know that they have seen videos from last year from this hotel when we were when they were researching the hotel. They saw my videos, and it was just such a sweet gesture. Like genuinely means so much, and I really appreciate it. I I don't know. I find it so endearing when you know somebody who recognizes me randomly, which I have no idea how they even remember my face, approach me, let me know that they've seen my videos from somewhere. It's just so incredibly sweet. But currently having our lunch break, lunch break as if we're on, out of work. We're having our lunch. <laughs> Here's our lunch. I'm gonna eat our food and then go upstairs and then go get some tea, which I'm really excited for. Say. <laughs> I'm constantly filming her because I don't know what to film, okay? But it's our last day, so I was thinking we need to like film more. So we're just over here, just chilling, having fun. Sabotage. Do you want to tell us more about the party today? Hello, is it video? Do you know, today I feel very sexy. I told you today again. Girls, be careful. <laughs> You know, if you have Ferrari, you don't cover it, yeah? You need to show the people, that's why I am. I am doing that. I'm the most handsome guy in the hotel, that's why I need to show them my handsome body, all people. See you later. Hello. No. Play? Why not? I'm just filming everything. Okay, just okay. film it. We're gonna act like nothing's here. Okay. okay. Oh, Pretend like you've never seen this. Alright, two lines turn again. Yeah. That was not even close. Uh, I'm close enough. Miss Ian. <laughs> The red and white party dedicated to the Turkish night was amazing. The decorations were so beautiful, the ambience was exactly what it needed, and the music was fire, so we danced our little hearts out.
Saying goodbye is never easy, especially when you have to part ways with your family members, but this was such a beautiful trip worth remembering, and I cherished every single moment that we experienced there. It was filled with beautiful memories and beautiful people, and it was just the most perfect way to end summer.